Hello and welcome my very enticingly lickable cave slime. It's SJB here and we're playing some more gyms for you guys. We've got a fairly good intermediate map for us for uh, for subs here. And that's what I want to do. I'm going to try to beat this um, on chimps with only subs today. The cool thing is about subs is that, yeah, they might not be the best starting tower ever, but oh no. Is this impossible? Got him on strong this time. Let's see if that's going to be enough. Um, And we got to move him to first. Oh no, this is not looking good. For copyright reasons, we have decided to add fan-made elevator music into this video. Finally! Oh my god, that took forever to get two submarines up over here. Um, the good news is that we do have two subs up, and I think that is going to be the answer for us. I did not realize how difficult it is to start with submarines on uh, a chimps mode on any other map besides a beginner map. A beginner maps, very easy. Specifically resort, uh, you like you just got it covered. I could not get it figured out on, um, I don't even remember the name of the map, the map we were just showing, and now we were able to figure it out on this map for some reason. So, uh, we've got that going for us. What we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to save up for uh, Admiral Brickle. I did not get my positioning just right, but I think with a longer range, and once we finally get these upgrades going, it'll be much, 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 much better, and it probably won't be an issue, but I'm gonna try to save up for Admiral Brickle here right from the get-go and see if this is gonna be good enough. Uh, I'm not trying for black chips medals, by the way, only for regular chips medals, so that's all I care about. Um, and it looks like if we could survive round 10 for a little bit, we should be able to afford Brickle. And we are gonna put Brickle next to my other towers here. This is just a good spot for them. Near the end of the map, um, in range of everybody, looking good. Yeah, we're gonna put her like right about, bam, I'm gonna put her on strong and she should be good for a long time here, folks. Heck yeah. All right, I hope that these barrels are in range of the map in some way, otherwise we're probably screwed long term. But for now, I am alive, and we'll be moving on in the world. So submarines are an interesting tower. You have a lot of different ways to play this out. First of all, fifth tier wise. Do you need an energizer? Maybe. Heroes earn XP 50% faster, and water monkey abilities cooldowns are halved. So that means that our preemptive strike cooldown and our first strike capabilities will be cooled out uh, to the absolute max. But to get going, we probably need a sub commander in here. He's only 27k, uh, but it's going to be really, really important for us. So what I want to do is I'm going to go for a combination of an Energizer sub with um, uh, some sort of sub-commander combo, and I think that'll get us, like, started. Uh, the problem with my Energizer sub is that I have Brickle down here, and the Energizer sub does have to be in range to make it worthwhile, which I don't know if that is going to be a thing, my friends. I really hope that this is in range, otherwise we could be a little screwed here. Uh, kind of regretting my Brickle spot a little bit. Do I have to restart? All oh, right, I have decided to uh, rework my strategy a little bit. Going very well so far. I was able to get my two subs in uh, at a spot where they can both attack over here. I was able to get Brickle in range over here. And I believe all three of my subs are in range of Brickle here, which is pretty sweet. My next plan of action is I want an Energizer. So, or not an Energizer, just a nuclear sub. So I'm going to go for my submerged and support. We're going to unsubmerge him for now. And we're going to see how close we can get to the $2,700 tower before things go cray cray. Um, if I need to, I'll just buy a couple of random upgrades here and there, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. I've got abilities that I to use as well, and, I mean, it could just be minor little baby upgrades that we need to, uh, make this all happen for us. So, we'll see how that goes. Once I get this guy, definitely balloons will be no longer an issue, and then, you know, these guys are fantastic against Moabs. So, I'm feeling pretty good overall, but, uh, you can definitely tell we're running into some minor issues here. Minor? Minor? Maybe major? Major-ish issues? Is he on strong? No, they're both on first. All right. Still alive. I really, I really want this guy, man. We're playing dangerous, though. Oh, it's got to be the end. There it is. Damn. For the time being, um, we are going to get a barbed art sub, and that's going to change the game in our whoop, submerge. Unsubmerge. Yes. Angry sub. Go with the angry sub. Uh-oh. I don't know if we're going to get this before round 28. Um, I might have to buy the heat dip darts now. If, it, if we do end up making that happen, it doesn't really matter that much. It's just kind of annoying because I just really want this freaking plutonium reactor, bro. Does anybody actually call it plutonium reactor? 
Or do people just call it nuclear sub? Let me know in the comments below. What, what, do, you, what do you guys call it? Do you guys call it reactor or, or nuclear sub? I call it nuclear sub, man. I've never called it anything different, I don't think. It calls it reactor. Plutonium reactor! Activate! Activate! Come on! Yes! And there we go. We get it. Oh, wait. It's because he was not submerged. <laughs> oh, wait. He tipped darts. Bam! Look at that. All right. Things are going pretty well. Now, I've got my hero in range of my nuclear sub. So, uh, I think she would have reached level 20 anyways, but this will re make her reach level 20 a little bit quicker. In addition, that uh, reduces ability cooldowns everywhere by 20%, so we don't need them to be in radius to make that happen. But the hero does need to be in radius. You can see the little womp womp thing over there. Um, so, at this point, we need to make sure we got some uh, pop and power. So, we're going to go for a longer range advanced intel, twin guns, airburst darting... Um, thingamajig. I think we're gonna go all up to fourth tier for now, because we're probably gonna try to, like, strive for a fifth tier pretty much as quickly as we possibly can. Um, I don't think that I want to go for an Energizer early on in the game. I think it's gonna be after, like, a, a, a later on in the game thing. Probably after this guy, but that's still not super late game. Like, round 80 plus. That's good enough for an Energizer, man. Uh, really good against the balloons, but the only problem is Energizer is nearer to the front slash middle of the map. Which, usually, you want Energizer to be a cleaner upper tower. Kind of. Like, he's pretty good against the ceramics, or better against the ceramics than the mobs themselves. But at the same time, we still need to make sure we got decamosation at the beginning of the map, so that's why we put him sort of near the middle. Um, could go for multiples, but in Chimps, you don't have unlimited money, so you really have to be stingy with it, and I think this is the uh, probably the best location that I can come up with. Pretty close to the front, still got a lot of room over here, and a little wrap around over here before they go uh, too far away. And here we go, we got triple guns, and we're going armor piercing darts, and boom, we are set for quite a while. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get another sub randomly. Uh, we're gonna buy two subs. We're gonna buy one right here, and one right here. We wanna give advanced intel to everybody, so uh, uh, we have complete range over the entire map now for my subs. Now I don't know if this is gonna be difficult. Um, I think rounds... Uh, uh, usually DDT rounds are the most difficult, because for whatever reason, these guys do not do well against DDTs at all. Uh, and then, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen, man, once we get down to those guys. I mean, Sub Commander just sucks balls against those things, so we're going to have to see how this goes. I don't know, man. I'm a little, uh, little scared, though. Alrighty, folks, things are going super duper well right now. Um, no complaints from me. Uh, you know, we get a lot of money all the way up for round 49. That might even be enough money to get up our, uh, our sub commander here, which is kind of absurd if you really get down and think about it. Um, I do want to make sure I got advanced intel on this guy. Sometimes I've been greedy or weird about, uh, getting, like, a middle path sub commander. This map, it doesn't make any sense. It just, it won't work out. Yes, it's more popping power. Um, yes, you get that lead popping power for DDTs. Uh... But I think we're still better off just trying to rely on preemptive strike for almost all of our DD pop power today. If not, we've got uh, Brickle here to do a little bit of abilitizing to maybe make things happen a little better. I don't know. But uh, it's weird that subs are so gosh darn good in the mid game. Um, they do fall off pretty quickly. Even with a sub commander, round 80 plus, they can get pretty bad. But mid game, they are just deliciously strong today. All, all day. Every day, man. Spice Islands Day. Wouldn't it be cool to live on an island? I, I don't know. Would you guys want, like, to have your own little private island or something like that? I have mixed feelings on it, personally. I think that I could probably live on a... Uh, like, I like my alone time and everything. I'd like to have, uh... Uh, just laying on the beach. But I'd be worried about things like... You know, what if I have a medical emergency? What if I have a hurricane coming my way or something like that? Like, bro, freaking dead, man. Just bloop, Off the planet. Nobody will even know for a long, long time. I don't know if they would be able to, like, helicopter. I guess it depends where the island is. Like, I'm kind of imagining, like, an island sort of, like, deserted, middle of the Pacific Ocean or something like that. Um, hard to get things you really like. Oh, also, I would make sure that I need internet. You know, with satellites and everything these days, I'd probably have internet. But, uh, I don't know. I just don't know for sure. Here we go. We're going to go for a quick ability here. 52. Getting a little spicy. We are on Spice Islands, of course. Oh, you like that? But we're so close to the sub commander. Once we get that guy, life is over for these balloons, man. Complete and utter annihilation coming our way. Let's get a couple extra mines up in here and ka bluey. I don't know why I'm kablooing sub commanders, but hey, hey, man, he's there. He's in action. He's ready to go, and we are deliciously powerful. Woo, baby. 
All right, so now that we've got some commander, what's our next plan? So there's a lot of options available to us, and I, you know, I think we can go, we can go a lot of different ways. Um, personally, I want to make sure that I get my uh, preemptive strike before DDTs, and I'm really hoping that I can afford both an energizer and a preemptive strike before round 90. But I'm not entirely sure that I can make that happen if I need any extra pop and power from any like additional subs in my sub commander range. So keep in mind, the sub commander is an interesting tower. If you are not on chimps mode, you can put subs anywhere and they're going to get powered up by sub commander because you got monkey knowledge that activates. But if you are like me and you're playing chimps mode, check out this uh, the sub commander thing. Ooh, it's gone. It's gone. Oh no. So we have to put all of our subs that we want to power up in this general range right here. I'm even going to be stingy and I'm not going to delete this uh, this thing yet. $1,000 could be an important uh, play for us. Could be. I don't know for sure, but it could be. Now, we gotta hope that Sub Commander is good enough for round 63, and honestly, I believe he is. Uh, do not underestimate him, even against balloons. He's good against mobs, but surprisingly good against balloons. And we've got uh, Brickle here to do extra work and an Energizer. I'm not afraid, man. I am just not afraid at all. Uh, with zero extra help from other subs, too. Uh-oh, lead balloons, though. That could be a problem. And combine it all together. What do you get? Demolition. <laughs> <laughs> Get a laugh at the face sometimes, man. When you're like, oh man, 63, normally a problem. <laughs> no longer. No longer. Could even make everybody even more powerful with Brickle's uh, ability here. But that is going to be important late game. Timing those abilities to make sure we're going to do the major max pop and power that we're allowed to do. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be tricky. But let's see if we can pull it off for you guys. All right, 20k, $14,000 away from Energizer. I don't see how this won't happen, dude. In fact, I am so confident that we're going to beat round 65 to 75. We'll see you guys as soon as we get the money for the Energizer. Here I am just sipping on my coconut water, living life out on the beach. You know what? I would I would not mind living on a, a private beach if I could get some nachos every day of the week, man. Nachos and pineapple is like, oh, my life is complete. Here we go. Before I forget, Energizer. That's going to energize uh, Brickle to be a little stronger. I don't, like I said, I don't know if she would not reach level 20. But I, I like to believe that she probably would not have reached level 20 if we didn't have the Energizer. And with the Energizer, she will reach level 20 pretty easily. 50% more experience is pretty important. And it also allows us to just get stronger faster, too. So, uh, you know, of course, we'd like to be level 20, like, for the bad. But, um... Beyond that, we want to make sure that we're level 20, maybe on round 95 or something like that. Like, that could be pretty freaking amazing. But, dude, when I went on my honeymoon with my my uh, wife, with, yeah, who else am I going to go with? <laughs> uh, when I went on my honeymoon, we, uh, we went to this place that had the most delicious nachos. I still dream about these nachos, guys. I don't know what they did, but it was like this, oh, this sweet and tangy, like, pulled chicken on this nachos, man, the most delicious thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. I mean, I've been, I've had some good nachos. Don't get me wrong. Had some good nachos in my life. After those, I got the nachos like three times while I was there, dude. It was amazing. It was amazing. I digress. I'm sorry to, you know, dream about nachos for you guys, but if you guys have the ability to make any nachos in your life, do it. Do it. I always thought, you know, like ballpark nachos where you get the like nacho cheese with just some random, random chips. Like, yeah, sure, sure, that's good. Going to restaurants and getting good nachos, like, it's worth the 10 bucks or 12 bucks or even like 15 bucks sometimes for those freaking nachos, man. They're delish. If I had to say my favorite food right now, it might be nachos. Do we want to, do we want to go that far? I don't know. I guess I would. I would go that far. Nachos. All right, so I don't know if this is going to matter much for us, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to throw a sub randomly on the other side of the island here because he's not super duper important for me. If range... Uh... It, just in case space becomes an issue, because I don't want I don't want to run out of space for like good subs. I don't think that's gonna be an issue, but I just want to throw it out there. Check this out, Energizer out, bro. Woo! All right, round 78, no problem. This is exciting. One thing to keep in mind with Energizer is that the Energizer is uh, uh, gonna be able to pop lead balloons with the heat tip darts, help against DDTs and such. But it's actually more popping power to go for the bottom path. So if you're ever worried about like getting your overall pierce going. Uh, or like running out, bottom path's actually better. And in a real chimps game, I don't know if it matters all that much. Um, you're probably not having that many balloons come out because they just become stronger balloons instead with reinforced ceramics and stuff like that. But just something to keep in mind here. All right, we're gonna mega mine this thing. Boop. Boop. Mega mine it. Still not that strong yet. It'll get stronger with time. But Energizer cleaning um up. 
Nice. All right, so our next plan of action, we got to go middle path. So we're going to go for a pretty quick uh, first strike capability. We're going to go for a preemptive strike. We want to get this guy before round 90. That's the main thing. So because, again, money is a little tight, we'll, we'll wait to get any other additional upgrades before we do that. If we need anything additional, though, um, we're definitely going to use... Ooh, this is getting ri risky already. This guy is falling off. 80 plus, he falls off fast. All right, we're going we're gonna to get rid of this thing. We have to. We're going to buy a couple... Uh, triple guns, infinite range. That's all I want to do. Triple guns, infinite range. I'm calling it infinite range instead of advanced intel because it, right now it is infinite range. Uh, kind of. The only place that I can't see is right down here, and I could easily buy a Oh, I also can't see up here. I'll wait on this. I'll wait on my sub over here and over here, but everywhere else I can see pretty good. Okay, and that is... See how much extra pop power it gives? It's like, it's just a little bit of something something, but this is, it's already got 8,000 pops here. This is a cheapish sub, you know? Cheapish. Sheepish? He's not scared of anything. He's just, he's just, he's good for what he does. Um, then it, I, I usually don't go armor piercing darts. I usually like to spam more random subs before I go armor piercing darts on my things. I feel like it's just more efficient with your money. You can get like two subs up to triple guns for the same price as getting an armor piercing darts up. Is that worth to me? No. All right, preemptive strike, bro. I don't know. Hopefully, I didn't waste my money on these things. This is getting a little tighter than I thought it was going to be. Because uh, 81 to 85 is a lot of regular balloons. But then you get, like, Zoma Gods coming out, which aren't that much money. And then uh, 85 and 87. And then 88 and 89 aren't even that big anyway. So it's... Eh. All right, we're going to go for the second Zoma God to get exploded. Oh, both of them got exploded. Fun by me. The Megamon comes back pretty quick, too. Like, I am not upset. Brickle, baby. What level are you? Level 15 already. Enhanced sea mines have larger explosions, can damage black balloons, and remove camo property. Yeah, level 15 sounds good. All right, all right. Let's, uh... Oh, I didn't mean to press that. But all right, that's fine. I meant to Mega Mine. That's okay. It's okay. Mega Mine. Mega Mine. Um... We'll Mega Mine. Yeah, we're gonna Mega Mine all these puppies, man. We're gonna go... Boop, boop. Boop. Then we got three of them, maybe four of them. It's actually a little bit weird, because Mega Mine, the only problem with it is if you don't have enough balloon popping power, the balloons are going to move quicker through the map. So it's almost better sometimes to just pop the first two, kind of like get a... Get a little bit of a break. Uh, see? Balloons, man. Give yourself a little bit of a break, and then go for that thing. So we're going to just pop this, oh my god, anyways. Oh, it doesn't pop it yet! Ooh. Oh, boy! Sea Mines do greatly increase damage. That's probably what we need right now, guys. Tis what we need. Don't forget, we also have a first strike ability, which I have not been using at all. Um, dang, I'm a little afraid of round 90. I might have to meg. Oh, crap, dude. All right, we're going to go like this. Whoop, that's not good. Wow. Unexpectedly tricky. I really wanted to save my abilities for round 90 because I thought round 90 was going to be more difficult. But you know what? I'm just going to go for a pretty quick ability here. See if that's going to keep us in the game here against these reinforced Moabs. Um, might go against the regular reinforced Moabs. How about the reinforced BFBs? Let's go for one insta kill here. Um, I'll have the Mega Bind for round 90. Hopefully that's enough for the. Oh, yeah, we'll have everything besides a first strike. Oh, I'm going to go for more mines. This is actually everything. No, we're not going to have everything. Holy crap. These ceramics are so beefy, it's ridiculous. <gasps> what the heck? Okay, so this is not exactly going super well, but we're going to use more stuff. Um, I think I'm going to use this twice at the very least. Maybe even three times. It's getting that ridiculous here. I'm really trying to save my Mega Mine, but I maybe what I should do is use my Mega Mine early on on the round 89 in the back here, and then I can save it up for, again, another uh, round 90 play, maybe, or something like that. I don't know. I already use another one of these. See if that's going to be enough here. And there is enough for uh, that part of round 89. Now, round 90. DDTs. Boo! Woo! There it is! Round 90 is taken down, but now I need this preemptive strike before round 93. Otherwise, I do not know if I can take down that many DDTs, bro. I do not know. All right. Big chunk of balloons here. This is a lot of money, though. A lot of money. Come on. Give me that money. Give me that money. All right. We got to go big here. We're going to have to mega mine this crap, too, and do this, and see if that's enough for us. It's a lot of money, but still... Is it going to be enough balloon popping power? Oh, that was close. But we did get a preemptive strike. $2,000 away. Come on, how could we not have this for our 92? 
Alright, we're gonna use more abilities. Blow up some of those balloons. Preemptive strike. Come on. Come on, $500! Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, another one of these abilities. Uh, we're gonna hold off on the Mega Mine here. We do take it down, but oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, we're actually gonna use the Mega... Yeah, yeah we're gonna use the Mega Mine. Got Preemptive Strike now. That should take care of 93 pretty easily. I was afraid of using the Mega Mine because if I didn't afford it, then it's like life is freaking over. But life is not over anymore. Now we've got more triple guns going our way. We're going to spam a few more of these guys. I think that's what we have to do for the rest of the game. Brickle's still at level 20, though. Dang. That's pretty wild, man. All right, triple guns. Got to get these air burst darts flowing. It's going to be all about how I use my abilities here for the future rounds. There's another... Uh, Airburst starts. We're gonna go for triple guns as well, and we're gonna use this ability, this uh, thing. Just boom, blow those things up. Use the popping power on the ceramics now. Triple guns. Spam these guys a little more. Why the heck not? All right. Keep everything in range here. Make sure you keep it in range. Another mega mine. 90, 95 will not be a problem. I am not afraid to run 95 at all. Like not one bit. And we get more subs. It's all about getting that bad popping power now. So, uh, Brickle is going to reach level 18 now. Naval Tactics. Ooh, that could be cool. Mega Mine reduced. Oh, yeah. So, let's start spamming a couple Mega Mines. Like, while we got it, this is, like, the time to do it, man. Um, they don't last forever, but, you know, if a Moab does make it over this general area, this will be kind of nice for us to have a little bit of extra uh, power. Here we go. Another one of these guys. Triple guns. I think I want to spam a couple armor-piercing darts. I don't want to go crazy, but I'm going to get, like, maybe two up to armor-piercing darts, and I'm going to spam more random subs. All right, more Mega Mines. Getting kind of far here. We're going to leave one in the back here just to be safe. Oh, yeah, they're all getting used up. Possibly in the wrong way, you know? Like, it kind of sucks. All right, let's go for Enable Tactics. First strike on 97, I think, is in order. I got a good amount of money. Let's uh, let's get some more of these guys. Triple guns. Subs are good, but they are not all powerful. All right, Brickle, level 19. Mega Mine does massively increased damage and longer stun. All right, so I don't know if this naval tactics thing actually matters much for me. I planned ahead pretty good, and almost everybody is either in, in, in range of naval tactics and sub commander too. All right, let's go first strike, and that's good enough for me. I probably shouldn't even use that first strike. I think we would have taken it down without. Advanced intel, more triple guns action. First strike's not ready. We're going to mega mine. We're going to enable tactics right from the get-go. We're going to mega mine somewhere in the middle of all this. Get some of them going. We're going to use Brickle's other ability. We're going to get another mega mine here for our 98. Shouldn't be too problematic for us. Uh, I'm going to use another naval tactics. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to blow these guys up. we got to blow them up. It's just too many freaking webs, man. All right. Uh-oh. Hopefully that works out the way I want it to. 98. Another Mega Mine blows. And 99. we got to hope Preemptive Strike is going to keep us in the game here, man. Preemptive Strike. Got to pop these reinforced DDTs, bro. Got to. All right. It is. It's popping all the reinforced DDTs. And that should be golden for us. Here's a Mega Mine for round 100. Beautiful. First strike it. Use that thing. And oh my god, look at that bad. It just gets smoked. Woo! And there it is. Chimps plus with subs only. Taken down. Absolutely beautiful. We get a nice monkey buccaneer. Uh, <laughs> instant monkey. And look at this guy. 677,000 pops. I'm not actually going to play free play because we're going to lose really quickly against DD. Eh, maybe we won't lose against DDTs, but... 677,000. Brickle had only 300,000. She's more of a support hero. This guy's surprisingly at 380,000. I also never got the advanced intel, which is kind of stupid of me. Um, I would have probably noticed that if we struggled a lot, but luckily we didn't struggle too much. Just took them all down. And I guess with any additional money, we'll buy uh, uh, these darts. And I'm not going to show you guys all the gameplay, but we'll see how far we get. And 103 is our final round. Kind of makes sense. Subs aren't that great late game. Um, they fall off so quickly, but we were able to take down round 100, and that's all that matters for us today, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, press that like button, subscribe, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.